Today's math strategy video is on making line plots and interpreting data. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example problem and then we're going to build a line plot and then we're going to interpret the data on the line plot. So our example problem says that Rodrigo recorded the weight of each acorn squash he sold at the farmer's market. The weights are shown below. So we have 20 weights down here. They range from, so we have our number line that ranges from two to three. So it looks like these range from two and one eighth to two and seven eighths. So we already have our uh, number line, our line plot started down here. So each of these X's are called markers and each marker represents the weight of one acorn. So this would mean that there are three acorn squashes that weigh two and one eighths, and these are in pounds. So let's look, let's go ahead and mark those off because we already have those done. Let's look at two and one four. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have, so we will need five markers to represent the five acorn squash. Now let's look at two and three eighths. We have one, two, and that's it. Two and a half, one, two, three. So we have three. One, two, three. Two and five eighths, one, two. Two, five and one eighths. And two and three fourths, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, and seven eighths. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the spread of the data, the distribution of it. So that means we're looking at, is this data spread out or is it clustered together? So if it was clustered together, you would see a lot of markers on one side of the number line, either here or there, or even in the middle. So this actually looks pretty spread out. So now we're going to look, look at a couple different questions that could, you could be asked about a uh, line plot. So one of the questions might be, what is the difference between the heaviest weight um, or the longest something? So this would be the heaviest weight and the lightest weight. So the heaviest acorn weighs two and seven eighths, and the lightest ones weigh two and one eighth. So the difference would be six, eight. So that's the difference between the heaviest and the lightest. Um, you may be asked the total weight of all acorns that weigh maybe two and three fourths. So if I was going to find the weight of all of these, I would say four. Let me do that in a different color. I would say four times because there are four of them. So instead of adding two and three fourths up four times, I'm just going to multiply. So times two and three fourths. So that would be four times two is eight and four times three fourths. That would end up being 11. Um, something else she might be asked is, you know, which weight has the greatest number of squash? So this one has four, three, this one, two, three, four, five. So there are more squash that weigh two and one fourth. So more squash weigh two and one fourth pounds than any of the other weights. Um, how many squash weigh more than two and a half pounds? So if more than two and a half pounds, it would be all of these. And how many squash that would be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven squash weigh more than two and a half pounds. Um, another question, what is the weight of squash that are equal to or greater than two and a half? So I want to know the weights of all of these squash right here. So we already found the two and three, four. So I want to know the total weight of two and a half. So let's see, three times two is six. And then three halves, that would be seven, seven and a half, right? Yes, seven and a half. And then two times two and five eighths. That would be two times two is four. 
and 2 times 5 eighths would be 10 eighths, and 10 eighths is 1 and 2 eighths, so that would be 5 and 1 fourth. Let me circle, we already found this one. And then this would just be 2 and 7 eighths. So we can add these up. 7 and a half, 5 and 1 fourth, 11, and then 2 and 7 eighths. So I'm just going to convert these back to eighths. 2 eighths. So 7 plus 2 eighths. Let's see. That would be 13 eighths. And this would be 25. So 13 eighths, remember that is an improper fraction. So 13 divided by 8, that would be 1. So that would be 26 and 5 eighths. So that would be the total weight in pounds of all of the squash that are two and a half pounds and greater. So that is our line plot for today and are interpreting the data from it. That is the end of today's math strategy video.